Well, I, I've been uh, researching such events and the background to them and the background to global power and where it really is now for nearly 30 years full time. And you cannot see any picture in any individual situation without seeing the, um, the connections between apparently unconnected people, organizations and events. So in terms of the blatant and utterly obvious demonization of Russia, which has been going on for such a long time now, you cannot uh, um, divorce what NATO is doing through this, you know, gopher frontman Jens Stoltenberg um, in terms of um, ex uh, expulsion of uh, diplomats with the build up of NATO and NATO uh, military on the borders of Russia. You can't um, uh, divorce it from the American coup because that's what it was in Ukraine and what has followed or the fact I see Sputnik um, broke a story uh, this week about um, uh, uh, the US building a military base in Syria. Um, what Russia has done by intervening in Syria is thrown a spanner in the works of the, the plan by America and the West to use a proxy army called ISIS to remove Assad. So now they're into plan B, but it's not going away. It's still a point of um, possible uh, conflict. And then you, you, you look at um, the uh, claims that Russia uh, manipulated the US election. Again, this common theme, where is the evidence? And then we come on to uh, current events in terms of the attack in uh, Salisbury, which has been blamed on uh, the Russian government, again, without any evidence being proved. This uh, uh, provided, this is a uh, a, a massive uh, demonization operation against Russia, because as I've been writing now for decades, the plan is to lead the, the world into World War Three, pitching the West against Russia and China with Iran thrown in and some other countries. Um, and, and this is the build up, the demonization, the preparing of the, the Western public perception to justify that. Their problem is that I can tell you from experience that large numbers of people in the West um, are not buying it. They're not buying this um, ridiculous, blatant attempt to demonize Russia and blame it for everything. Well, this, this is one reason, I think, why uh, Vladimir Putin came out and made his presentation of um, uh, Russia's uh, latest capability to uh, get through um, uh, Western defenses in terms of uh, missile defenses, etc. Um, it was to point out that this is mutually uh, assured destruction, because as some um, Russian diplomats and others have pointed out, when you're looking at a defense uh, to missile system, which of course with the West is uh, introduced into Europe and, and, and uh, elsewhere, you're actually uh, breaking that um, or potentially breaking that um, uh, mutually assured destruction um, situation because it gives you, if you can defend yourself from incoming missiles, it means that you have a, a first strike opportunity. And we mustn't forget that um, these uh, Western governments, particularly uh, the United States, um, are run by psychopathic people. They are not, they are not rational people who uh, see things as most other people do. And if you look at the progression from September 2000, when a neocon operation in the United States uh, called the Project the New American Century published a list of countries it wanted to regime change. And then you look at those countries, Iraq, um, Iran, uh, Libya, Syria, Lebanon, uh, North Korea, you start seeing that actually what's happened is that list is being ticked off no matter what administration has been in power, whether it's Republican or Democrat, because there is a hidden hand um, that is there no matter what uh, president or party is um, officially in power. Now, here's a major uh, uh, point in uh, regard to that. One of the major architects of that report, that document calling for this regime change and for America to fight multiple theatre wars, um, was a guy called John Bolton. John Bolton has just been appointed by Trump as his national security advisor. This guy is the hawk's hawk. He is the extremist extremist. And um, 
When you then look at the uh, proposal by Trump to make a guy called Mike Pompeo the Secretary of State, he's an uh, anti-Russia, anti-Iran, all the, all the right credentials for these people. Um, and then you've got a, a, a guy who's Secretary of Defense um, who is so uh, uh, psychopathic. He, he's given the nickname Mad Dog, James Mad Dog Mattis. So, you know, it's it doesn't... Um, bode well for world peace when you've got these uh, extremists in power following a, an agenda that can very clearly be seen step by step since at least um, September 2000. Well, it, it would it would appear to be going that way, but um, experience uh, says let's wait and see. And uh, the very same John Bolton was calling very recently for... Um, uh, preemptive strikes against North Korea. Um, a uh, an Israeli uh, military uh, person uh, in the last few days has uh, said that John Bolton, at one time, was trying to persuade him to have a a, a strike against Iran. These are the people we're dealing with. You see, um, the, the the whole um, plan, the whole outcome uh, that is um, uh, in the gun sites, literally of this global network is, is global control. They want a world government dictating to every country and every community, a world army dictating uh, the will of the world government and imposing it upon the global population. And that's what NATO is. NATO, um, not least through the American military, is the world army de developing in front of our eyes. Do you know the United States military has broken up the world into commands. There's a North Command for uh, domestic North America, a Southern Command. There's a, a Central Command. There uh, is a, a command for different parts of the world. But that is not really for the American military. That's a stepping stone that is putting in place a structure for the uh, planned uh, world army coming in. Um, and and uh, anyone that will not bow to that, will not allow themselves to be absorbed into this world government uh, tyranny, um, is, in, is in the sights of, of uh, the networks that operate not least through the American military and the American uh, government. And, you know, we've, we've had this uh, massive spending bill passed uh, this week in the United States, which vastly increases um, spending on the military. And uh, this is a, a president in Trump who, who during his election campaign, was saying, um, I want to stop um, United States military um, intervention in other countries. Well, he's done the opposite. Why? Because the people that controlled in the background um, George Bush, boy George Bush, and Barack Obama now control Trump. These are here today, gone tomorrow people. We're going to understand what's going on and how it fits together. We've got to look at that force, which is always there, no matter who's in power. And it's that force, by the way, and the networks of that force, that web, that coordinate um, common responses. And so on the basis of absolutely no evidence whatsoever that's been produced uh, in any way as proof, we have all these other countries expelling diplomats, um, uh, America, of course, many, but all these other European and other countries expelling diplomats um, in sympathy with the United Kingdom. Well, in sympathy with what? You don't do things in sympathy. You do things on the basis of evidence. But of course... We're in a post-fact, post-evidence society, and all that uh, happens now is something is claimed. And in the old Nazi propaganda uh, technique, you just keep repeating it, and then the lie eventually becomes accepted truth. And so th there is no explanation for uh, why all these countries would um, expel Russian diplomats on the basis of no evidence whatsoever, unless it's coordinated.